It's the first Sunday after Christmas. The place, East London. Beside the canal at Hackney is an area of workshops and print works, largely silent for the Christmas holiday. That Sunday, December the 29th, the roads here were deserted. But one printer's, Fairway Graphics, had deadlines to meet, and because of problems with machinery, Paul Tidyman, an assistant printer, had been asked to stay behind to do some overtime. Oh, that's... Yeah, look, it's me. Uh, look, I'm going to have to work late tonight. Is that all right? Yeah? Do you want to come over here? Well, you better tell me how to get there, then. Although Alison had been Paul's girlfriend for three years and they'd been engaged yeah. for two, she'd never been to where he works. Cross one road and you'll see fairway graphics on the, other, on the right hand side. All right? Now walk through the gate and I'll be there. What time shall I leave? Well, if you leave between about 5.30 and 6 o'clock, then I'll start looking out for you from around 7. All right, see you later then. Bye. Thanks, Mum. I'd better go now, because I don't want to keep Paul waiting. Well, you haven't had your sweet yet. Oh, I won't have time for sweet. Anyway, I don't want to get fat like you, do I, Dad? <laughs> I don't know. Mum, could I borrow a couple of quid for my fare, please? Yes, of course you can. That should be it. Fine. Thanks, Scott. All right, I'll be off. I'll see you later. OK. Yeah, bye. 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 With only enough money for her one-way fare, her sheepskin coat and Paul's directions, Alison set off. It was a bitterly cold evening. Alison walked 300 yards to the bus stop outside Upminster Bridge tube station. A passerby remembers seeing someone like Alison standing there, waiting, at around a quarter to six. The bus she took would have been a single-decker 244 or 248 to Romford Station. The journey would have taken about ten minutes. From Romford, she took a 20-minute train journey to here, Stratford, in East London. It was at Stratford Station that detectives had the last clear report of Alison being seen alive by the ticket collector, Rose Lee. Excuse me, I think I've got myself lost. I've just come from Romford and I want it to Hackney Wick. You well out, you why you've got to go straight back down to the bottom, into your left, over the bridge number one. Number one. It's been freezing, isn't it? Yeah, he's really tough. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Alison may have waited 15 minutes on platform one for the train to Hackney Wick. This is the North London link line, just after seven o'clock, and Alison might have been the only passenger. The journey lasted just two minutes. Hackney Wick is the first stop. Police believe Alison arrived here at about ten past seven. Though she may not have realised it, she was now just five minutes walk away from Paul in fairway graphics. But she never got there. From dozens of possibilities, detectives are now concentrating on three main theories about what happened in the hour before she died. Theory one is that Alison was followed from the train. Alison may have been lost, or she may have realised she was being followed. A minicab company remembers receiving a call from a young woman at 13 minutes past seven. Hello, I'd like a cab, please. I'm at Hackney Wick Station, and I want to go to Hackney. A delay? How long of a delay? Either her time ran out, or she couldn't wait. The line went dead. The cab telephonist remembers that the caller sounded distressed. Detective's second theory is that after Alison got off at Hackney Wick, she was lost. 
Having made the call and failed to get a cab, she walked 50 yards to the junction with Berkshire Road. If she'd walked straight on, she'd have got to Fairway Graphics in two minutes. Instead, she may have turned right and continued down Wallace Road. It leads to the canal and to a printer's yard where people go looking for discarded proofs of girly magazines. It could have been she met her killer here. The third theory is that after making the phone call, Alison again walked to the junction with Berkshire Road, but this time she walked the right way, straight down the road towards Fairway Graphics. When she got there, she would have seen the sign saying Atlas Works, which she knew was another name for Fairway Graphics. But instead of going to the main doors, maybe she turned down to the side. It leads to the canal. Alison Day's body was found 300 yards away from Atlas Works in Hackney Canal.